Demarcus Walker was highly thought of coming out of high school, highly ranked. He was a big end guy we could see moving inside if he had to or be sort of a hybrid guy who could play multiple positions along the line of scrimmage. Certainly hasn't disappointed. He's gotten better every year, and I think, you know, this season for Florida State, he's been absolutely outstanding. His inside pass rush is one of the best you're going to see in college football, and he continues to do things on a defense that doesn't give him a whole lot of help. He gets so much attention, he can still beat double teams, he can push the pocket, he makes things extremely uncomfortable for the quarterback, and that's everything he did in high school as well. He was part of an amazing group of defensive ends in his class, so a fifth star wasn't likely to come. He was outshined a little bit by guys like Robert Kimdichie and Carl Loss and Jonathan Allen, Chris Jones, Joey Boza. Uh, some of those guys in the NFL, some of those guys going to join Walker in the NFL very soon. But we did like his technique, his power, his quickness needed a little bit of work. And I think that's what he's improved the most upon, uh, his get off off the snap in college. And his work ethic, too. This was a kid who just grind, just grind day after day. And, and just kept coming at you. If he wasn't going to get you in the first or second quarter, he would wear you down. Third, fourth quarter, you were his. And uh, just a relentless explosiveness uh, and strength down the stretch of game. So Demarcus Walker at the Under Armour game was impressive, certainly impressive as an underclassman as we saw him, um, and a guy that I think was just overshadowed a little bit by some bigger name guys who's playing up to that level for sure. Yahoo!